Greetings from Bulgaria, my name is Volk, and now that I've calmed down a little bit after the initial announcement and my previous video, it is time to do, hopefully short, but probably not very short, analysis of the official trailer called Betrayed. It's the official cinematic trailer for Star Wars The Old Republic's new and upcoming expansion on 2nd of December. It's going to be called Knights of the Eternal Throne. The video is about 6 minutes long and we see a very interesting story. We travel back through time to see the relationships within the uh, most famous family on Zaku, Valkorion, Senya and the three children. The trailer begins with Senya, what it seems to be running away, holding Valin. Why this is Valin, we're going to learn a little bit later on. These are screenshots. I'm not showing the trailer itself because I've selected special, uh, quite a few screenshots to talk about. And in some of them, I would like to pause for a little bit and talk more and share some observations that I've managed to extract for myself watching the trailer four times so far. Yep, four is probably not enough, but I was really curious and eager to release that so I can hear more from you, which is actually more interesting and more important than just doing it by myself. As I've said on that very first screenshot, uh, Senya is holding, is carrying her daughter Valin, who seems to be, I would venture to guess, something around maybe 11 to 13, 14 years old, probably even smaller, it's really hard to tell, especially when she has no hair. She's running away, and this is leading up to one of the teasers that we've already seen. Moving up to the next, we see actually... A couple of seconds into the trailer, we stop the action and uh, Senya has a flashback or a vision from the past. This is her, much younger, as you can witness, with her daughter Valin. Yes, the girl on the ground is actually Valin. She's cute, blonde and so very innocent. Mother and daughter are playing uh, like nothing is really wrong in the whole world. On the next screenshot, we already see that Valin learns and knows that she has some kind of potential of wielding the force and using the force. She probably doesn't know at this point what exactly the, for the force is. She believes that all of this is natural. She is constructing something like an animal. I couldn't make up what exactly kind of a beast or animal this should be. Maybe you can help me out here. And the important fact in this scene is that uh, Velin is actually using the force behind her mother's back. Seni is looking through the window at what seems to be the prime a, the prime time or the, the best time to be as a cool and, uh, citizen because that on the background outside should be one of the Zaku cities probably or the Zaku city, the capital. A little bit later on, she actually turns around and uh, forbids Veiling from using the Force while constructing this thing and while playing with the toy. On the next screenshot, we already see that the two little brothers, the twins, are training uh, at the battleground. On the left, we have the hand of Senya, and in the middle, again, is Veilin. She's so innocent and she's happy watching her brothers train. Both of them are actually working very well together and we've already seen that they were really well trained since very young age in the previous cinematic trailer for uh, Knights of the Fallen Empire. Valin is happy about them but she also wants to join and train with them and we see her in the next screenshot here with that kind of a doll hanging from a tree like it's been hanged. Veling is attempting to use her force power. She knows that she has potential. How did she learn and did, she, did someone tell her that she is uh, strong in the force? We don't see that from the trailer and I suppose it's not really that important. What is important from the screenshot and from the following up actions that we see in this forest uh, cutscene is that she actually fails to do anything. And then in the end, in the next screenshot, we see the reaction, she's scared because she does a very powerful scream, which of course, of course I've forgotten to screenshot. And that scream destroys the doll hanging from the tree very effectively and very quickly. She's actually scared because she didn't expect that thing to happen to her. And this was a surprise. Yeah, that's the dog barking and doing stuff uh, to the side if you hear loud and weird noises. 
on the next screenshot, we already see her a little bit grown up, but not too much. She's failing on the battleground, trying to train with the Zakul Knights while her mother is observing very closely. Senya does not allow Veiling usually to use the force, not in combat, nor anywhere outside of combat for normal activities or in her normal life. She doesn't want her daughter to become what eventually she becomes. This next screenshot shows us the moment when Veiling failed to uh, beat the Zakulan knights, decides to try and do what she's strong with using the force. This screenshot actually shows the amazing quality of the video. Blur Studio has really outdone themselves. You can see the scratches on the armor. That texture, man, it really looks like it's not a texture, but that's really a person. And the details of the weapon he's holding, that is a cool knight, actually. The breaking of the wood is just outstanding. I really love the work of that trailer. I'm going to read a few of the comments that you've already posted because I've published the previous video one hour ago, but I already have quite a few favorite comments that I definitely need to read. <laughs> one of them I'm going to spoil already. The trailer, this trailer, Betrayed, is actually better than The Whole Force Awakens, someone said. We're going to, to read the whole comment later on. Valen is initially happy because she managed to beat the three cool knights, but at the next moment, Senya realizes how her daughter defeated them, and she's extremely upset with that. She already knows that the force is extremely strong within Valen, and she already knows how to use it. Unfortunately, the little girl does not make a difference between a noble defeat and a total annihilation. At some point, watching the trailer for the second time, this is the next screenshot I want to talk about, I thought that Veiling draws strength to defeat those knights by just looking at them because she actually froze them in the middle of the action and just killed them by smashing their armor outside to the inside and just squishing their faces within the helmets. I was thinking that maybe her father was giving her strength through the force to, to perform this action, because this is the very next moment when we see Valkorion appear from the balcony as if he is the Roman Emperor. This is actually a very, very similar scene to the Roman Emperor at the Colosseum or the uh, gladi Gladiator uh, Arena. Anyway, uh, the mother already realizes that she's incapable of stopping or preventing Valen from using her forces and unfortunately at this point the father already knows what is happening and how powerful his daughter is. On the next screenshot we already see, well we don't see exactly the face of Valen because I didn't take the proper screenshot it seems, but Valen is sad while Valkorin is taking her away. The expression on Senya's face is well, it's talking by its, uh, on its own. It doesn't really need, need explanation. There is a zoom in on the next couple of uh, moments uh, in the trailer that you should really pay attention to when you're watching it. You can see the desperation in Senya's eyes and the face that she shows here. It really show. It really tells us that she she realizes how defeated, how beaten she is, and how much she's failed trying to prevent uh, her daughter becoming what she is about to become. The next screenshot is Veiling in training. Well, this screenshot is actually a little bit further ahead because there is a very nice time lapse uh, with uh, her sitting here first scared, then a little bit more steadily. And this screenshot that I'm showing you is actually when she's already meditating, she's grown strong in the force. Who exactly and why cut off he, her hair? I know not. I also don't know much about the uh, special guards or monks or whatever they are in the background, but I'm hoping to learn more about them very soon through Bioware's uh, blogs and information and publish uh, new posts eventually, or most likely through the story when the expansion launches. This screenshot is like a couple seconds later, and uh, we already see that her eyes turn red, just like the red eyes of Valin we see mostly in Fallen Empire story chapters. On this screenshot, I really wanted to show to you, in case you've missed it, how she's grasping to, to, for concentration and how hard she's focusing. Look at, look at the bumps and, and the, the, the deformed spots under her fingers on her arm. She's really holding very tight and doing everything she can, giving 
all she is capable of to focus in her training and mastering whatever she is mastering, probably the dark side of the force. That next screenshot shows the toy that she abandoned. This is the toy that we saw in the beginning of the trailer. She was working on that monster, wooden monster, uh, together with her mother. This is part of one of the teasers. We've already seen that battle. What I want to point out is that, yes, there is background music throughout most of the trailer, but just here for this specific short battle, First, Senya is barely using her lightsaber. She's defeating those uh, six warriors, six uh, uh, Natima guards or whatever they are by mostly just doing acrobatic performances, acrobatic movements, and from time to time just pointing the, the lightsaber through their chests or driving the lightsaber through their chests. What I wanted to show, to, to talk about during this screenshot is that the background music stops here. We only hear the wind howling and the sound of the weapons that uh, Senya and the six guards are holding during the fight. It's really epic. I believe that whoever arranged this uh, to be musicless or trackless is really done a, an outstanding job. It, it shows the importance of the fight and we actually draw our breath and we stop breathing for a moment while this is happening. Moving on to the next screenshot, this is just after the battle. I'm wondering where exactly the corpses have disappeared. There should be six corpses here. We don't see Senya just pushing them away from the bridge, but I've taken this screenshot to elaborate and speculate on the fact that we already see the distance between the mother and the daughter. This is again back to the real uh, or current time. This is the moment when Senya is trying to escape uh, carrying Veiling. She's obviously not carrying her anymore. She drops her down just before the fight with the, sh with the six the Tima guards. And uh, this is just after the fight. We see that she's on the other side after she has defeated the sixth of them. And Valin has not moved. Why Valin hasn't moved? Perhaps we will learn a little bit later on. Valin knows that Senya cannot escape. And on the back, we see Valkorion coming to claim her, uh, his daughter and stop Senya from trying to steal her from him. These are the Zaku knights from the Zaku dropship that came quickly and swiftly to take Senya away. And whether they are actually on her side saving her or they are serving Valkorion and taking her away, I really couldn't decide for myself. Maybe you can help me out here. Why do we have Zaku knights uh, saving her and helping her? Do they actually save her by taking her away because otherwise uh, Valin and Valkorion would have destroyed her? Or are they acting under orders by Valkorion himself to take her away? This is a couple seconds later. She's already up on the dropship. It's obvious how she feels because she's failed. But I've taken this screenshot yet again to prize or praise uh, Blur Studio because they've done an outstanding job. Sometimes you can clearly see that this is 3D uh, computer generated animation, but other times you feel like these are real actors playing in real environment. Very good job, damn it. I don't know how much of the budget for the whole expansion was thrown away to this video, because that's actually a popular uh, topic at the moment. But whatever Bioware paid Blur Studio to create this trailer, I think it was worth it. Once again, we see the little toy, because this is actually further into the future. I don't really know why and where Senya is. But uh, in the next scene, we see that Veiling is approaching. There is speculation within myself and in the comments that I've witnessed already on my YouTube channel and uh, on Twitter and other places as well. Is this really Senya? I personally believe it is. Why do we not uh, say for sure if it's Senya? Because look at this. This definitely doesn't look like her. But who else could it be? These are the red eyes of, of uh, Valin. I apologize, I meant Valin. This is obviously Senya against Valin. And uh, I'm really not sure about myself why she looks so very different. On the previous screenshot, well, a couple of screenshots back here, we see this is definitely the silhouette, the silhouette of Valin because that's her outfit, or at least it's as close as possible to the outfit she is wearing in the cinematics from uh, Fallen Empire. 
that's the first moment of the fight, we can really see the struggle of Senya. A couple of seconds earlier in the video, you will see how uh, how uh, Valin pulls the weapon of uh, Senya's hand, and Senya is forced to draw a random lightsaber from the floor because they are currently standing on some kind of a battleground graveyard. What it is, who fought here, when and how, we don't know, but we see a lot of corpses of the cool knights down below the, uh, the two, uh, the mother and the daughter. And this here is the ending of the trailer, why I'm showing you this, to remind you that the expansion is supposed to launch on 2nd of December. If you want to learn about the more of the uh, introduced future features of the new expansion, the 9 available chapters at launch, pricing models, early access and more things like that, there will be a video right here for you to click on and learn more about it. It's actually the same video I published about an hour ago before I sat down to talk about the trailer with these screenshots. Well, it's kind of an improvised uh, observation and analysis of the trailer, but I hope you have enjoyed it. Definitely be sure to let me know if you spotted more details that I didn't talk about in the video. There are certainly a lot more, and uh, even more will be revealed when we actually start playing the expansion itself. That's it, wrapping up. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to throw in a like and uh, let me know what you think about the video. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If so, click the like button and help me out. Also, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Visit my website, vogue.com, for daily videos and news. And stay in touch by following me on Facebook and Twitter. To help me improve and expand, consider becoming my patron with a small monthly pledge.